Hello, I'm Angel. This is the fourth in a series of videos comparing historical forms of human-made light. So far, we've covered rush light, three different palo candles, beeswax, and spermaceti candles. Today, we will be taking a look at stearin and paraffin candles. In 1834, inventor Joseph Morgan helped further the modern-day candle industry by developing a machine that allowed for the continuous production of molded candles using a cylinder with a movable piston to eject candles as they solidified. This mechanized production method produced about 1,500 candles per hour. With the introduction of mechanized production, candles became an easily affordable commodity for the masses. Braided wicks, rather than just twisted, were also invented and yielded taller and therefore brighter flames because they didn't require constant trimming. In the 1820s, French chemists Michel Lugène Chirvel and Joseph Louis de Roussac discovered how to extract stearic acid from animal fatty acids. Stearin is the solid compound of an oil or fat capable of separation into components that melt at higher or lower temperatures. Like tallow, stearin comes from animals, but some tropical plants, such as palm, produce an oil that can also be separated. In 1825, Chevreul and Gay-Lussac patented stearin. This led to the development of stearin wax, which was hard, durable, and burned cleanly. Paraffin wax was introduced in the 1850s after chemists learned how to efficiently separate the naturally occurring waxy substance from petroleum oil and refine it. In 1848, James Young established the world's first oil refinery. In the mid-1850s, Young succeeded in distilling paraffin wax from the residue left after refining coal and oil shale, thus developing a commercially viable production method. Paraffin could be used to make inexpensive candles of high quality. They were a blush or bluish white wax, burned clearly, and left no unpleasant odor unlike tallow. A drawback was that the early coal and petroleum derived paraffin waxes had a very low melting point. This was soon overcome by adding the hardener, stearic acid. There is really nothing remarkable about the candle's scent. The biggest difference is the paraffin candle feels smoother and has a kind of almost shimmer to it. Kind of like the way that a pearl shines. Let's burn the candles. I'm just going to wait a few minutes and let this burn before I measure it. I'm concerned that the way that the taper happens here at the top, that that's going to impact the intensity of the flame as it burns. I'll let that burn off and then measure the light. This is brighter than my spermaceti candle from last week and the flame is very consistent. I actually feel like I can read by the light of this single candle. It's that bright. The flame on the paraffin candle is much taller than on the steering candle and that is giving me even more light. It's also burning very consistently. This is by far the brightest candle that we have tested so far. Join me next time when I'll be looking at and testing rapeseed and rice wax candles. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That tells the YouTube algorithm to push it out to people watching similar content. Here are two other videos I think you will also like.